Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf6, and in today's episode, I am taking a train first. It's a buy ticket. That'll work. Yeah. And in this episode, I want to do a Q&A. The series in the past has been called Ask Eric Surf 6. This time I'm calling it Eric Vlog Time number three. That's complicated, isn't it? Here's my train. Oh, I gotta run for it. That's my car right there. That double decker. If you're not hustling, you're not really living life to the fullest. So I like the double decker car, because, right? You got the bottom and the top. The bottom and the top. Can you guess where I like to ride? Can you guess? I don't like to be on the top. I'm a working class guy. Yeah. See? Look at that. Right? Right at foot level. I love that. That's awesome. See, she's just getting off of work. See, she works on the train, you know? Mm hmm She's what's called a Shanai Shanai Hum Shanai Humbai. Shanai Humbai. This is how you validate your seat. Yeah, like that. See, now we're good. Departing Shinjuku Station. Goodbye, Tokyo. I'm, I'm on my way home. So, let's get started. Are there any questions? My name is Gabriel Huerta from San Bernardino, California. And I guess my question would have to be, what would be your top three go-to Japanese dishes? Gabriel, great question. My top three Japanese dishes are definitely sushi, tempura, and moss burger. I'm Alex from Romania, and I would like to ask you a question. What is your favorite food from Japan and from USA? Alex, great question. Let's stay on the burgers here. So Moss Burger from Japan, America, definitely In-N-Out Burger for sure. Yeah, if you're comparing burgers, which do I like better, Moss, In-N-Out? They're both amazing. If you come to Japan, Moss Burger, oh, it's way beyond anything else. Hey Eric, it's Payne and Jack from Indiana. We're wondering, do you like pho? And if you do, what kind? I love pho noodles, Vietnamese noodles. What the pho? I mean, amazing. Probably the best type, since it comes with vegetables already anyway. I love the, like that thinly sliced beef that's put into the pho noodles. Amazing. I know you've uh, done a ton of videos about um like uh, vending machine foods like rest stops or like at Narita Airport for example. What is your uh, favorite out of all of them? The best one is, let me make sure I get it right, number 199, EMT 199. I'll put a link to it right up here if you want to check it out. And the reason why I like that one the best is because it's located in Tokyo, which they're rare in Tokyo. So Eric, I gotta ask, out of all the vending machines that you have discovered there in Japan, what has got to be your favorite and why? EMT 172. And this, this is better than the previous question. That's why I kept them both, right? Because there's two. I have two favorites. The link is right up here. Number 172 is the one where I go to Sagami Hara. It's in Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. And this place has the most, it's the biggest place in Japan. It has the most machines. It's, there's like 50 machines. If you want variety in vending machines, like want to see a whole bunch of different types of food vending machines, that's the one to check out. Hi Eric, you know me as Shanda on your YouTube comments. I'm from Eastern Kentucky and my question is, where is all the places you've traveled in your lifetime? I've been to about 15 countries, 15, 16-ish, I want to say, less than 20 for sure. Most of those countries in Asia because I live in Japan. Hey there, Eric Surf 6, it's Senny, Tasty Chronicles. When was the last time you got pretty bad food poisoning from filming one of your videos? Sunny, thank you for your question. The last time I got really bad food poisoning was before I started the Eric Mealtime series, believe it or not. I've never gotten sick from, from eating at a, at a restaurant or doing any of the mealtimes, which <laughs> it's amazing, right? Yeah, but before the Eric meal times, I do remember a time where I got food poisoning and I ate some bad scallops, or I thought I was allergic to scallops, but since I have eaten scallops and have never gotten sick, so that means they were probably some bad scallops, right? 
Um, so one, I was wondering um, what kind of stunts you have coming up for the guy in the suit. Now you're doing those videos again. What's next for the guy in the suit? <laughs> Great question. Skydiving I've already done. I've done three already for season two. The new episodes for this year in 2019. Next. Next up, I think I need to meet my bosses. Yeah, I... The, the guy in the suit needs to like verify if he still has a job. There's going to be some conflict soon because I haven't showed up for work for a long time. The skydiving that I did in Hawaii was just a buzz. That was just such a blast. If you haven't seen that one yet, the skydiving right here. Yeah, check it out. There's, there'll be a link. Oh shit, this is my stop. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, barely made it off the train. But this is my stop. You guys hungry? This is the best ice cream machine in Japan. 17 ice. This machine rocks, right? It's bilingual too, right? Like vanilla, you got chocolate, you got chocolate flavor, you got caramel. It's just like... We're not having ice cream. This is like... <laughs> Goes in tight. Oh, it's hay fever season in Japan. It's getting harsh. All right, so what's the next question? Eric Surf 6. Uh, we were wondering if anyone has ever named their child after you. Emma and Brandon. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? You want to name a child after me? I'm, I'm flattered. I'm honored. If you guys ever have a choice to take an elevator right there or... Over here we have stairs. Which do you take? Do you go elevator or do you go stairs? All staircases in all over the world should have like signs on them that say free exercise. I want to know more about your military training and whether or not you deployed. And lastly, what were the skills that you acquired that are most important to you that allow you to benefit those around you and make you the happiest? So I was in the US Army, regular Army, for three years. I did a tour of duty in Hawaii. My MOS, military occupational skill, was 11 Bravo, which is infantryman. And I did that for just a very short time. And then I was transferred into a 71 Lima position, which is a an office clerk basically so I was a finance clerk and I was very lucky because that job was it was like I was a pencil pusher but I did do one deployment to Korea for cold weather training so to answer the last part of your question how has it helped me to help other people mainly because it's such an international experience you meet people from all walks of life you're communicating with all different sorts of people and you're all living together and I believe that's what really helped me to leave America and come to live in Japan it wasn't such a big step after being in the military from age 18 to 21 being in the military was an excellent experience it turned me from a boy into a man so i believe that's all of the video questions let's go to the common questions yes you know what i'm thinking i'm gonna call it a night it's dark it's raining i think i'm gonna continue the comment questions tomorrow perhaps i will have my students read the questions see you soon i'm going to bed have a nice sleep we'll cut to tomorrow good morning did you sleep well because I'd like to know. Put it down below as a comment. I slept five hours last night. I've been, haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Yeah, definitely. I like to get between seven and eight is good for me. But yeah, everybody's different. My students, they average out about six and a half. So I'm on my way to work this morning. This is the morning commute by a bicycle. And we had a big storm last night. So I apologize if it's a bit windy. I hope the sound is gonna be all right. Got to pay attention here for a second. <laughs> Going under the bridge. I have wiped out and actually wound up down there in the riverbed before. Yeah. I'll tell that story another time. So I want to thank everybody that sent in their video questions because that's what YouTube's all about. All right, I've got 10 minutes to get changed for work. All righty. We're all suited up and ready to go skydiving. Have you guys seen my skydiving video yet? Time to get to class. Lucky number 13, that's me. Green tea, yeah, beverage of champions. Okay. 
Questions. Yes, all about 1,000. Over 1,000? No way! So before we get to the questions, the first lesson this morning is going to be a DIY project. It's called the paper propeller trick. So this is your paper, and you're gonna fold it up like this. Ready? Action. Hard to do video. Okay, here we go. We're gonna ask questions. Are you guys ready? Uh, my question is, uh, does your cameraman get to do it? My cameraman always eats. I promise you guys, the cameraman always eats. Hi, I'm Crazy Love. And my question is by Benny Bread. What's your favorite fish? My favorite fish for cooked fish is saba, which is horse mackerel. And for raw fish, it would be tuna, chutoro. I just love fatty tuna. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Yuppie, and my question is from Bento Basta. Thank you, Bento Basta. What did Sushi A say to Sushi B? The answer to that is Sushi A said, Wasabi, Wasabi. Do you like Wasabi? Hi, I'm Shivas. Uh, my question uh, is by Didi Al. Uh, is your son single? That information might be private, I'm not sure. But I'll tell you something. A friend of mine told me that on his Instagram stories, there was a girl and they thought that it really looked like a girlfriend. So there is some sus suspicious activity, but we don't know for sure. Hello, Alex fans. I'm Henpe Kuduman. And my question is by Carly. Where are you in Japan for the 2011 earthquake and tsunami? The tsunami and earthquake in the Tohoku region of Japan was devastating. And today is actually the eighth year anniversary. It's March 11th today. I was not in Japan during that time for the earthquake. I was living in Japan, but I was on vacation in Colorado. So I saw everything on TV, but I didn't get to witness it. I mean, I've felt earthquakes before myself because I'm from California. I've been in some small ones, but never anything like that. I'm TT, and my question is from Braddon Saturn. What do you do to relax? To relax, I like to go to the hot springs or onsen. I love the ones that are out in the mountains or by a river. That is the most relaxing thing to do in Japan. Definitely try the Japanese hot spring. Hello! <laughs> I'm 116. This question by Menu Mac. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Japan? The best thing about Japan is that it is really, really a safe country and people are honest. So that's two things. What's up, peeps? I'm Bonsai. And my question is from EB. What's your favorite Japanese soda? Well, I don't drink soda very much. I prefer green tea. But when I do drink soda, Mitsuya Cider is the best. I'm gonna go get one right now. This is the International Cafe. Sup, my name is Jiro. Can you speak Japanese for one episode? Actually, I have spoke all Japanese for one episode and that was, it was a Christmas special. How Japanese people celebrate Christmas. It was with my son and some other friends. And then it took me five hours to write the subtitles in English. It was such hard work. But I would do another one. I would say, yeah, maybe one a year or something, or maybe a shorter one. Yo, I'm Yankee. This question uh, is Marilyn Pons. How often is your wife as a camera person? I have 12 people, exactly a dozen people that help me do camera work. And my wife is one of them. So that's one twelve, And that's about how often she does camera. Yeah. So a lot of different people that help me do camera. Some of them like to be on camera, others don't. And I, I respect that. My wife is camera shy. She's not afraid to put her voice on the camera 
or her hands like for cooking or something like that she, she will assist me but sorry you're not going to get to see her face you can see my face in my beard subscribe to eric south six uh, i'm double decker uh, and my question is by, from thai birth uh, what is something that america has that japan doesn't Overweight women. You don't find overweight women in Japan. Hey guys, I'm Rice Ball. My question is my Dan Ornick. Do places give you hard time with filming in Japan? Almost never. Although sometimes they do ask, don't film the other customers in the shops, the restaurants and things like that. So that was it. That's going to do it for this question and answer session. Thank you very much, guys. See you later. So work's finished, and that was the last day of classes as well, too. So I would like to thank my students for all those wonderful questions, for reading the questions. I'd like to thank the students, and I thank you guys, you guys who sent them in to me. Okay, so there's about two grand, yeah, $2,000 worth of camera equipment in these bags. I'm not gonna log the bike, and I'm just gonna go shopping. Not a care in the world about leaving a bicycle unattended. That's how honest Japan is. Yeah. I'm not gonna show you guys what I buy at this store. The last day of classes, can you take a guess? I only need one thing. Sapporo, definitely Sapporo. Let's get a cold one in the back. Yeah. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we will see you in the next one. See? Everything's still here. <laughs>